hello guys in this video we will be seeing about uh, how to create a session bin in java um, let us create a new pro enterprise application project um, let me name it as so, so uh, make sure the version is going to be selected and the server should be also be added and the EJP module and the web application module uh, should be checked on let's finish let me take out a simple scenario um, let me let me have a JSP page which has a text box and a button when entering the name and uh, clicking on to the button Submit button, it will say I plus name, and this will be passed to the session bin, and I will be uploaded to the uploaded before the name from the session bin. First, let us design our page. Create a simple form. A server. The method is going to be post. Input type equal to six. Name is going to be name. Let us have a submit button. Submit. We are going to and that's it. Um. Now let us create the server. Uh. Um. Say I new. Right click the source package and select. New server. First, let's first get the name the from the text field. First stop. Get parameter name. This get parameter uh, method will get the corresponding value from the JSP page and store it in the local variable. Okay. Now let us see whether this works. So, Before creating the session bin, uh, first check whether this UI gets work. First, build the tutorial which has the triangle symbol. It's going to be a main project. So first, build it. Mm. Before that, you should start the server. Uh, so, I directly click on to build. It will automatically start the server. And this will get take some time. Uh, before, uh, sorry. Before deploying, you should start the server. Uh, so, the project has started uh, successfully. Now, start the server. Last week. And this will take some time to start the server. The server is getting started. Uh, the previously deployed application on your server will be get loaded first. So the server got started. Okay. Now let us deploy this into the server. So, I'm one.
so uh, it's getting quite delay okay fine it's got loader mm. okay but now let us create a session bean uh, and the bean uh, all the beans should be created under the module of pjb so the web pages will be created in the y uh, web active and the all the beans will be created under the model pjb enterprise java bean okay let us create a new session bean Mm. <coughs> it, I will name it as um, something uh, hello session the package may be anything of or tumble dot tutorial 20 and this bean is going to be local so that it's only accessible within this project when it's going to be remote it's going to be outside of the project uh, stateful or stateless let me choose stateless so the stateless bean thing which will take the bean from the tool which is going to be a current state now let us add a method insert code and business method say i and return type is going to be uh, string java dot lambda string and this will receive the parameter name so this will create the method and the interface will also be get created so that we have the interface with the help of this local interface we will be accessing this uh, session b from the uh, servlets or JSP pages and so on so that's going to be just one the option name right so um, They are equal to same. This under string. That's it. To so access the session bean, uh, let me make the work very simple. So that right click on the servlet, set code, call enterprise bean, so that you can use the bean so all the declarations will be automatically created so this will create a local variable for that interface based from this interface will be calling uh, will be accessing the session bean hello session hello session dot i and this will be a string and that's it so over now let us run the project so this is to Now we'll just pick it. You can see from this, uh, this is a basic. You can uh, access the databases, then create the uh, code to access the database. This is a basic so that uh, it will give you an idea how to create a session bin locally, uh, which is a stateless session bin. And other different types of beans available with Java or uh, entity bean, uh, which is going to be of a uh, persistent, persistent. 
so that we we'll get the uh, we'll have a persistent data and the next is going to be a message driven bean which is going to be asynchronous uh, bean um, let us see the other beans in the upcoming videos uh, thank you and just like and subscribe